Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Blunt Guys. Today, I'm going to be talking about the story time of my first heartbreak. Like, dead ass, the story I'm going to tell has scarred sixth grade me. And, yo, boys, let's just get straight into it. Now, this story takes place in fifth grade, sixth grade. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was fifth grade. And don't even get it twisted, bro. At fifth and sixth grade, bro, I was still chiefing the fucking pen. Like, me and my homie, we were in like fifth grade, sixth grade. And around these times, we would always just be going around the city fucking. Bro, we would get paper, roll it up, make like three of them and we just light it on fire and be chiefing these hoes bro. bro i was a fucking dumbass kid like i would get the leaves from the bush and roll it up in this paper and i'll be fucking just chiefing it i actually be inhaling too i'm probably like gonna fucking die in 20 years from that shit that's not the only shit i would smoke when i was a little kid bro i mean i'm not i'm not proud of any of this shit i'll tell you guys but this is just like backstory for the story time i'm about to tell right i'd go to my homie's house it's like five minutes away i'd go to my homie's house he would take his mom's cigarettes out and take her fucking vape out and we would just be smoking this vape and first time smoking a cigarette was in his house we smoked it in the fucking bathroom like idiots like we should have went in the backyard bro i don't know why we didn't go in the backyard but at the time we decided the best place to smoke a cigarette was in his mom's bathroom not even just the bathroom bro he had other bathrooms but he decided to smoke it in his mom's bathroom that was in his mom's fucking room bro and yeah we we're doing that around those times but also around this time i had a crush on this girl in my grade and i never ever actually like spoke to her one-on-one -on -one conversation like ever in my fucking life even till this day but somehow i had her number in my phone and we would just be texting back and forth like all the fucking time right like on some little kid shit and remember boys i'm in like fifth or sixth grade bro like i'm gonna be in middle school in a year or two right and tell me why this bitch tells me i'll be a girlfriend in middle school but i can't date right now because i'm too young and bro elementary school me was fucking ecstatic bro i was so hyped i'm like bro i have a fucking girlfriend bro stop fucking playing with me i i'm playing fortnite dude i got my goddamn my pizza rolls already i got a new girlfriend shit it's amazing right now and i'm like yeah i'm gonna be like a fucking rapper like i'm gonna be like some fucking rapper bro fifth grade me i thought shit was sweet i thought everything was fucking gravy until this very one day my bad for the interruption boys but get on to the video soon before we get any deeper into the video if you guys fuck with me if you guys fuck with my content then i really appreciate if you guys go show love to the backup channel and the new channel that i made called gut self-help also boys the merch is finally here bro i'll put the link down to everything that i'm talking about in the description I hope you guys fuck with the designs and the quality if there's any like problems with orders or like payments or materials or anything just comment it down below in inside the fucking comment section you guys should join the discord i'll put the link down in the description i have a general chat and i also have a chat where you can just share pictures of your bud your fucking disposables your fucking dab breaks your bong and also i have a private chat for people who want to create stuff or are creating stuff it could be like content creators musicians youtubers fucking twitch streamers if you have a brand if you have a small business or you're an entrepreneur that chat is literally for everybody who just wants to elevate in the world Links to everything will be in the description, but let's just get right back onto the video. It's just a regular Friday night with the boys. I'm with the homie who always lets me smoke his mom's vape. And I'm pretty sure I was with the other homie who also would let us, like, smoke his brother's vape. Like, he'd bring his brother's vapes from his house. And yeah, it was just a regular Friday night at this time. Like, we were just in the backyard straight chiefing these fucking pins. I was texting this bitch that I was always too scared to talk to at school, but I would always be texting her. Like, at school, I would literally fucking act like she didn't even exist. But I'm not gonna lie, boys. I was straight spitting G on those DMs. And yeah, it's just a cool Friday night. I'm recording myself doing ghosts and shit. I'm recording myself smacking this pen, right? And for some reason, I send the videos to this bitch. My bad for my language, boys. Oh, I sent these vape videos to my fuck to this fucking girl. And I guess in my head, I'm like, oh shit, this bitch is gonna think I'm a badass if she sees that I do this shit. But in reality, boys, it was the complete opposite. The girl responds to the video and she's like, Oh my god, you do that? I cannot be with somebody who does that. And pretty much she's just like, Nah, I can't be with someone who does that. And she just fucking like, basically like just cuts ties, right? Like just a second ago, I was fucking straight spitting game to this bitch. And then the next second, she's like completely cutting ties with me, bro. Like this was some fucking deep ass shit to fifth grade me. So she cuts ties with me. She's just like, nah, I can't do that. Bye. And bro, I'm fucking, bro. And fifth grade me is just going through treacherous mental times bro i'm just like holy fuck i've been wanting to pull this girl for like so long and now she's like fucking just leaving out of nowhere bro i'm just i'm just i'm just into pieces bro and i did i did the thing that you're never supposed to fucking do and i spammed her it's not an understatement boys i literally spammed her with around 
15 paragraphs saying please don't leave me i'll change for the better please don't leave me if you leave me i'll never be the same again like just some gay ass shit right i saw gay so i said gay that ain't bullying that's an astute observation did the laws of the universe change and nobody told me niggas gotta apologize for being right I'm i can remember it would always say scene and she would never actually respond so every time it said scene again i would keep spamming fucking paragraphs fifth grade me was on some rookie shit bro i mean i don't blame him but like fuck bro that's some rookie shit like even fuck even a fucking fifth grader should know you're not supposed to do that shit especially with the fucking disney princess love story ass shit i was saying like like the shit i was saying in those paragraphs which is atrocious bro like that shit looking back now i was a fucking idiot yeah boys that's how my friday night ended i went home after that just think i fucking i listen to drake when i go to sleep or some shit and that was the end of my friday night boys i went back home and i was just just going through it bro and yeah that's pretty much the story of how fifth grade me got scarred by my first heartbreak bro for real boys tell me in the comments if you guys ever been through some shit like that be sure to fuck with all the links down in the description show with your homies show with your fucking family be connected be yourself and i'm out peace